Hey guys. Um, I'm just gonna wait for everybody to get the notification to join. Here we go. Ahoy. Um, I'm not gonna lie. This is a sports bra from our new active wear collection. If you follow me or obviously this account, you see that we just launched a whole bunch of amazing items on our store, pornhubapparel.com. Um, and I'm, I'm not even gonna fake it. It makes me look like I have boobs. And we all know I don't, so, yeah. Okay, so um, welcome to Seven Minutes in Heaven. I'm your host, Pornhub Aria. Um, I need to go and get our guest, who is Maya Farrell. I'm really excited to interview her. Um, and yeah, if one more person doesn't do their research, I'm going to kill you. It's Pornhub area. Also, I'm not wearing makeup, sorry. You'll, you'll be fine. Um, there we go. Her. Hi. Hi. Girl. How are you? I am great. How are you? I'm wearing my grown up shirts. Twinsies. Yes. <laughs> um, thank you so much for doing this with me. I'm so excited to talk to you. I'm just so happy to be here. Of course. Yeah. Um, pardon my face. I'm not wearing makeup and I just only now realize that. That's okay. <laughs> you know, makeup is for the week sometimes. It it's is. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> the week um okay so I don't know if you've ever seen an episode of seven minutes in heaven uh I think I've watched a reel or two yeah yeah so basically it's just like rapid fire questions that are typically like pretty stupid um so yeah just have fun with it yes. what has been your best purchase throughout the last two years uh, my best purchase I would definitely say I have this pillow which is um it's like those pillows designed for you to like, if you're using like a Japanese table, it's like a sitting pillow, okay. but I use it for my knees and it's the best purchase I've ever like made when I'm making videos. My knees are safe and I'm on a. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back and get her. Sorry about that. I think it, you froze, right? Yeah, no, something, I don't know what happened, but something happened. Okay, so you, you bought um, one of those knee pillows. Well, yes. Asian sitting pillows. Yeah. Yes, outside of that, I would say my dog is the best purchase I've ever made. That's a really good purchase. What kind of dog? I have a mini schnauzer. His birthday is 420. His name is Brady. I love that. And he has a gorgeous birthday. Yes. <laughs> best day to party. Um, what show are you currently obsessed with? I've been currently obsessed with, well, my show that I'm obsessed with all time is South Park. And lately I've been binge watching Law and Order SVU for some reason. I was up all night watching that. I've been watching that for the past like two months straight. Just it's nothing a, else. Oh, it's a really good show. Okay. Yes. I know. And the scripts are so good. Like, Whoever yeah. wrote those scripts are amazing. No, it's a really good show. People are always, like, a little bit ashamed to be like, oh, I'm watching Law & Order, you know what I mean? Like, because it's like, you feel like it's, like, really past your time, but it's not. It's a really good show. If I did not have this as my current job, I would love to be a writer for Ice Tea. Oh, my God. <laughs> His lines yeah. are amazing. Amazing. Um, do you watch your own porn? Yes, that's how I like to masturbate. Fine. If you did that or looking in the mirror, no exceptions. Love that. So you are just like getting off to yourself and you're just like, just proud. Especially if like you're thinking of the video and the memory at the same time. You're just like, oh my God. Yes. I fucking love that because no one has said yes. <laughs> yeah, that's the best way to do it. No, I mean, I... Partially, I mean, fully, but I'm going to say partially. Agree. Um, okay. Who would you be most starstruck to meet? 
I would be most starstruck to meet probably Johnny Sins. I haven't met him yet. I haven't shot with him. He's an absolute legend. Yes. Um, it's just like shock to meet work wise or in general. Oh, in general. Oh, oh my God! I would be so shocked if I got to meet like Nicki Minaj. Huge, huge fan. Really? Absolute stan. Oh my God! I wouldn't even know what to say. I'll be like. How am I blessed to be in a room with you? Oh my god, yeah, Nicki Minaj. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's good. I, I I like I like the like total contrast between Johnny Sins. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. Yes. Love that. Love the journey we just went on. Um. Okay. What's your favorite hobby? Skateboarding. I love skateboarding. I'm actually right next to my skateboard. Oh my god. All about it. Uh, I've been skateboarding for like 10 years and and I love it. We love that. You know, it's like everything that you've said so far has kind of been very off brand because you're like so beautiful and you kind of just expect you to just be like a Barbie. Oh my God. I get that all the time. I have such a very, um, before the adult industry, I used to study like biochemistry and go skateboard all the time and, and read books like I have so many books. Um, yeah, I feel like people definitely expect me to be like a little flimsy, but no, I, I would say I like have a head on my shoulders. Oh, you definitely athletic body. Um, what was your worst date? Oh, I went on a date. The last day I went on in LA, actually, my last, my first and last, um, it lasted an hour. We went out to sushi, great sushi place. But there was not one time that he asked a question about me. So I spent my whole hour just nodding like, oh, yeah, yeah. Never asked a question about me. And if I didn't ask a question about him, it was just complete silence. <laughs> That's, isn't he a serial killer for that? Well, okay. asked you out on a date, but then like couldn't speak unless it was about him. Yeah. No questions. Literally not one question other than how was my day. That's so bizarre. Yeah, I blocked him after that. <laughs> I would have continued dating him just to find out what his problem is. I, no, I was, I was like, no, this save, is fine. Save yourself, you're right. <laughs> What's the weirdest sex tip you've ever received? Um, blow on it. Like, if he's, if he's really sensitive, like, on his ball, like, if he's, like, let's say, like, jerking and he's getting really hot, so it's, like, just blow on his balls. And it would, like, help him restart back into, like, getting in the zone. Because... <laughs> Like, too aroused, or he's not aroused enough? I would say too aroused, yeah. Okay. Like, let's say it's been a long day of shooting. He's trying to get that net shot. Just blow on them. Just blow. Wow. Good to know. I kind of like a cool breeze, like a, a mini cold shower. Like a very yeah. cold shower. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Okay. It's, we're already at the last question, which is crazy. Um... Okay, if you were to pick an existential crisis to be, or to have, what would it be? <laughs> I would, okay, so I'm like really into like the whole world ending and like apocalypse and being ready for that. So if I was in an existential crisis, I would want it to be like an apocalypse. And then like me getting in my truck taking my big apocalyptic bag, you know, my survival bag, and just, like, trying to get out of L.A. I feel like is a crisis on its own if something bad was to happen. Um, that's is that what you mean? Will Smith of you. Very Will Smith of you. <laughs> very Will Smith. <laughs> Do you have an apocalyptic bag ready? I currently, it's more like my bench. My bench is, like, full of, like, solar panel lights, um, like my like tools and utensils. Um, I'm a gun owner, so I like I have that in my like 
you know, apocalyptic bag, but there's so much more I need. Like, I don't have rope. How do I not have rope? <laughs> yeah, rope is like the number one thing you get. Right. I don't know why, by the way, because I don't even know what I would do with a rope, but like, you need one. Yeah, for some reason, I need a rope and I need to buy that. So yeah. there's still stuff that needs to be bought. Yeah, okay, you get back to me when you have like a full kit, because I'm very interested in knowing exactly what's in it. There's this membership subscription I'm going to start subscribing to that sends you like survivor tools like once a month. Really? Yeah, I forget what it's called. I follow them on Instagram, but I've been you... really considering it. Okay, you have to send me that link because I'm kind of... Yes. Really... Okay. Absolutely, I can do that. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so, so much for doing this. It's such a pleasure to talk to you. You're so fun. Of course. Oh, thank you, Aria. You're so sweet. Thank you. So have a great rest of your day and please go fill out the rest of your apocalyptic bag because we're all waiting with bated breath. Yes, I will update you, I promise. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.